Hello guys, hi, welcome back to my channel, Simply Deborah. I pray everyone is having a fantastic Sunday. Um, I cooked um, some, today I made a dish, it is called um, jambalaya, shrimp jambalaya. It was absolutely fabulous. My husband and I had it uh, for dinner. And so my mom had called me on Friday and asked me to make her a pound cake. I have been so extremely busy this weekend and I'm just now able to make the pound cake. So she wanted a marble pound cake. So I thought while I'm making a pound cake for her, I can go ahead and take you guys along for the journey of it. So I am getting ready to make it. I have everything um, laid out. I have my oven preset to 325. So I'm waiting on that to get up. Um, and for the ingredients, I will be using swan's down cake flour. I will be using granulated sugar three cups and three cups as well as the swans, swans down cake flour. I will be using three sticks of softened butter. I use Lando Lake butter. I will be using one eight ounce, I believe this is eight ounce, yes, one eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese. I will be using six eggs. I use the brown organic eggs. I will be using Hershey's cocoa and I actually brought a new one. So I'm gonna be using a fresh one. And I will be using pure vanilla abstract along with almond abstract. So I only use McCormick. Theirs is really, really good. I have, I made a pound cake, an original pound cake that I displayed and showed you all the pound cake. And I had um, got so many responses that a lot of people have went and tried to make the pound cake. Um, the important thing is just like I stated before, when you make anything out of love, it's gonna taste good. So don't worry about the overflow. If it's overflowing, that's my oven just set to 325. Um, but I'm sure the cakes are, are turning out good. So I am gonna go ahead and make this um, pound cake for my mom right quick. And I'll go ahead and show you guys everything that I'm doing step by step. So, I have my handy duty kitchen aid mixer. I love, love, love this mixer. It works really, really well. First of all, what I will be doing is I'm going to put my butter over into my mixer. So my butter is really soft. I let it sit out for a while. So I'm using three sticks of that. Then I'm using my eight ounce Philadelphia cream cheese. So what I'm gonna do first is blend this together. So that is what it looked like. So it's really nice and soft. So then I am going to add my sugar. I have three cups of sugar. So I'm just gonna add in a little at a time.
So what I'm doing is just getting it all incorporated into it. That is my three cups of sugar, guys. And then what I'm gonna add is my flour. I'm gonna add a little at a time because you definitely don't want that to have a flour cake face. So that's the three cups of cake flour. So that's all incorporated really, really well. So I'll move these out the way. And so now I will be putting in six eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs. And I usually crack them and put them in a bowl first, just in case any shells break off, you can take them off. You don't want anybody to be eating a cake and they're eating eggshells so so there I have six eggs Thank you so much, babe. My daughter has been so helpful. She knew her mom was tired. So she took it a, the initiative to fold the clothes up and I am so grateful because I am extremely beat, guys. And she doesn't feel good. So can everybody say thank you? Thank you, Tiara. Woo! Okay. So next, I'm gonna mix in, hopefully only one egg at a time fall, sometimes two fall, and if so, then that's fine. But you just wanna make sure your eggs are incorporate, incorporated into the mix really well. See, there go two. Mm -hmm. They go. Oh, it's leaking. Is that what you said? So there, that's all six eggs. So that's blending. So now I will put Okay, 
So that has mixed all well together. So now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. And this is pure vanilla abstract. Let me see if I have one that's already open. I do. So I am using one, two, And then I will put in my almond extract. I'm going to put two teaspoons of that as well. That's one, two. I think that was a little bit over two, but it smells so good, guys. going to do is just spread my edges so I'm just going to get all the edges in there and that's how it's looking really nice rich so guys if I was making an original pound cake that would be all I would be using I would get my um bunk Pan, uh, bunt cake pan and I would spray it really well and then I would just pour that into it but since I'm making the marble thank you so much since I'm making the marble pound cake what I'm going to do is get a bowl this is why I don't like too much making other pound cakes because it causes too much of another mess because you have to use other things so, but for my mom, I'll do it. So here's my daughter blender. She has a little pretty blue um, KitchenAid mixer as well. Um, actually, when I was in California visiting one of my cousins, I had made her a pound cake and um, she didn't have one, so we went and brought her the same one. So I hope you're enjoying it, Candy. I hope you have made several pound cakes. I hope they're coming out really, really great. Okay, so this is how it looked, guys. And what I am going to do is take out about half of it and I'm going to put it over in this bowl so this bowl is completely empty so if you can see the cake batter it is really really rich thick guys don't be scared to make this this I mean you're in your own kitchen Believe me, I made several mishaps in cooking and baking. Do, do whatever you like. It's your home. It's your kitchen. Don't be afraid to go in there and start taking out pans and start making things. Don't let anything hold you back. If you want to do it, do it. Okay, life coach. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> A little bit more in it. You sure? Yeah. And if you were making all um, chocolate pound cake, you would just use the cocoa and the whole mix. But because I'm only making um, half and half, like in marble, I'm only putting like half of it in there. So what I'm doing is opening up my cocoa, and then this just went everywhere. So yeah guys, um, in making 
or doing something in your home, whether it's decorating, it's your home and you do what you want to do. If other people don't like it, oh well. Okay, what you doing? So now I am gonna put in three cups. That was my daughter moving some cocoa out my face. No, it was better. Oh, so now I'm gonna put three cup, three teaspoons of Hershey's cocoa over in it. So that's one. Tablespoons, correction. Two, yes, three. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more. Dang, that's a lot. <laughs> so I put three and a half. So what I'm gonna do is get the other blender and I am going to mix that together. Start off slow because you don't want the powder to come back and hit you in the face. The powder is very light, so it will come back up. So what you wanna do is incorporate all that cocoa powder into this batter. If it tastes too rich, you can always add more. I'm gonna put a little bit more over in it. If it tastes fine, you can leave it as is. It's up to you. It's up to your tasting. When I just tasted it, it tasted like chocolate milk sort of taste that I get. And I like a smooth chocolate taste. So I don't want to use the same spoon that I use. So I'll use a different spoon. Yes. That's it, guys. Okay. So now, I'm going to get my cake butt pan. I have so many different sizes of these butt pans. So, I'm trying to think. Which one should I use? Stay to what you know. This one? I guess so, I guess. Okay, so. She called it, I'll use this one. Only reason I like this one, I like the shape, the design of it. It's both going to taste the same. Yes, they are. So you want to make sure you get out all the excess water. I always like to rinse my stuff out prior to using it. Hurry up, stop get lightheaded. <laughs> Me too. I've been lightheaded yeah. since I woke up. I think it's the way the world is moving. Okay. Okay, so I'm using my Pam cake spray. And I'm gonna spray it to make sure I get full coverage. So it's fully covered. So I'll start with my yellow cake.
You can put however you want to do it, guys. It's like I said, totally up to you. You're making it for you, and you can do what you want to do. So I got the yellow in there, and then I will put some chocolate over in there. And can you see that guys? And then you're just gonna repeat the steps. And that's how you get your marble pound cake. I'm just scraping the edges to make sure I'm getting all of it. Then I'll go back in with my yellow. Okay guys, so that is it. So once it's done, I will show you the finished product. But that is how I make my marble pound cake. That's it. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And like I said, I will come back once I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay guys, so her cake just finished and I am getting ready to take it out the oven. Here it is, nice, fresh, and hot. Wanna hold that for me? Here's the finished product, guys. Made with love. Um, let me get in so you can see it. Guys. Uh, let me say it again. Said it looks really really good um i just brought it out the oven so what do you guys think this is the marble and you can see the chocolate and the yellow is incorporated really really well so what i am going to do is go ahead and flip it out
It's hot. Did it come out good? A little bit stuck to the plate, but overall it came out really, really well. So this is the marble pound cake. And you see the chocolate and the yellow. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another video from me from Simply Deborah. Uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for there will be more to come. Also, um, please go ahead and try and make it. If you make it, upload a picture. Let me see your finished product. I hope it tastes as well. I hope it come out just as um, better than mine. Um, so that is it. I'm going to go ahead and call my mom for she can come get her cake. And I will go ahead and go and I will chat with you all later. Thank you guys again for tuning into this channel. I so greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you family, friends for always just coming in, tuning in. And for all the feedback that I'm getting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll go ahead and end it. So I will talk to you in my next one. Love, peace, and happiness. Mwah.